This is absolutely crazy that I'm even about to make a video about this. You know, what's interesting about Western civilizations like Canada, the United States, Europe, all of these people pride themselves on diversity and inclusion for everybody, right? But all it is is really a Marxist smokescreen to be able to suppress opinions that they don't believe in. Or I should say facts because the Bible isn't an opinion. It's 100% a fact. But what I'm about to cover today is so sinister, so tyrannical, it's hard to believe that this is happening on Canadian soil. When we think of Christian persecution, we usually tend to think about places like the Middle East, China, whatever it may be, but not places in the West like Canada. You see, over in the Middle East, the violent way of suppressing Christianity is through Islam. Over in China, the violent way of suppressing Christianity is communism. But in the Western civilization, they found a way to violently suppress Christianity through liberalism. When we think of far left extremism, we usually think of it as like a silly thing where all oh, these people are kind of crazy, but whatever. You know, we live in a free country, let's just tolerate it. But they are starting to get to the point where they don't really tolerate us and they would rather have us in prison for our beliefs in the Bible. This is pretty crazy, but we are gonna cover it in detail. What's going on guys? It's Big Nick back for another video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel today. Before we get into today's video, if you guys like Christian content, please give this video a like. Subscribe to my channel down below if you are new, and turn on my post notifications so you never miss a new video. Without further ado, let's get into it. Canada is proposing a new bill to make Christianity illegal as well as punishing Christians with jail time for their faith. A Canadian far-left extremist member of parliament by the name of Yves Francois Blanchet has proposed a bill called Bill C-367, which aims to remove protections from speaking about religion from section 319.31b of the Canadian Criminal Code, citing this enactment amends the criminal code to eliminate as a defense against willful promotion of hatred or anti-semitism the fact that a person in good faith expresses or attempted to establish by an argument, an opinion on a religious subject, or an opinion based on a belief in a religious text. In section 319.31b of the Canadian Criminal Code, it ensures protection for free speech to speak openly about the Bible. Let's take a look at the original criminal code that it wants to amend funny term. It's not amending it. You're just erasing it. No person shall be convicted of an offense under subsection 2 if in good faith the person expressed or attempted to establish by an argument an opinion on a religious subject or an opinion based on a belief in a religious text. This would make quoting the Bible illegal under the guise of hate speech and would make it a criminal offense to speak up about certain sinful lifestyles that the progressive left finds offensive. Over the past couple years, many Canadian Christians like Bill Watcott, Pastor Derek Reiner, and Pastor David Lynn have been convicted of of hate crimes, with even some having to go to trial for their biblical beliefs. Shout out to David Lynn, by the way. I hung out with him over a year ago, back when I was looking homeless with this long hair and untamed beard. I promise I had a home, though, even though it didn't look like it. The Canadian government even ordered the arrest of Pastor Archer Pawlowski for holding his church services during the pandemic. And you know what's funny about that is, you know, while they were closing churches down in Canada, all the mosques were open. So I guess the disease didn't spread in mosques, but in churches, oh yeah, definitely. Because it's all about saving lives lives, guys. Not about religious discrimination or really the devil just trying to shut down the true place of worship. It's all about saving lives. If Bill C-367 passes, this will unleash a full-on war and a mass imprisonment campaign against Bible-believing Christians at the hands of the Canadian leftist government that have already been testing the waters to see how much Christian persecution they can get away with. Jesus says in Matthew 5, 11 through 12, blessed are you when they revile and persecute you and say all kinds of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad for great is your reward in heaven, for so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Many times in history before mass atrocities were committed, under ruthless dictatorships. Attacks on Christianity were made by jailing believers who spoke out against tyranny. It is scary to think that the atmosphere of Nazi Germany is only one bill away from passing in Canada. The Canadian motto is Amari Usque Ad Mari, which is quoted from Psalm 72 8 that says Jesus Christ will have dominion from sea to sea. Unfortunately, the satanic Marxist takeover is looking to erase Canada's ideological morals through the guise of progressivism, which will only lead into utter totalitarianism against the people who believe in God. We are living in the last days, and many of the freedoms that we enjoy are under attack by demonic principalities that govern this world. These demonic entities' end goal is to shove Christians in the closet and make them feel fear and terror for believing in the gospel of Jesus Christ. However, these demons are merely projecting because the fear that they feel when Jesus Christ unleashes judgment on their entire satanic kingdom in the very last day is incomparable to any fear that we will feel here on earth. The Bible is a reminder that the devil and his army are permanent 
permanently defeated and they will never feel peace or tranquility again like they previously did before they were kicked out of heaven. Keep our Canadian brothers and sisters in prayer because they're going to face perilous times if this bill comes to pass. This bill is demonic in nature, so pray against this bill for the sake of our brothers and sisters above. Sadly, America is only a few steps away from a bill like this taking place here, so we have to unite together and disband this demonic governmental takeover that's trying to make our lives miserable and uncomfortable. Progressive leftism is a perfect example of a wolf in sheep's clothing. They come to you all soft and, oh, we just want freedoms for everybody, we want inclusivity for everybody, but they really don't. If you don't submit to their system, they will terrorize you. This is the Jezebel spirit in action. Majority of progressive leftists are under the control of Jezebel. Just like Jezebel tried to kill the saints of God, the same thing is happening here. These leftists want us silenced, and I wouldn't be surprised if some of them didn't even want us here on this earth. But God's plan is always greater, and we gotta trust in the Lord to bring things around. Whatever happens at the end of the day, it's all part of God's will. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Please leave a comment down below and let me know what you would like me to cover next. If you guys wanna financially sow into this ministry, you can do so by clicking the link in my description. I also have merch that I put out like a week and a half ago, so if you wanna support me in that way and also get some fire clothes, that will also be linked in the description too. I'll see you guys soon for another video. God bless all of you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take care and peace out. Ain't it game? Jesus who I claim. Yeah, he reigns. Cross up on my chain. Brand new lane. Heaven my domain. The world I gained, but it ain't do a thing.